My journey to Deccan has shown me the best and the worst the world can offer. It began in India when I first studied fundamentals of science at the Cotton Collegiate School in Assam. I graduated from Anna University in Chennai in textile technology, then did a master's degree on fiber science and technology at the Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. My work then took me to Bahirdar in Ethiopia on the shore of magnificent Lake Tana, the source of the Blue Nile. There, I designed an undergraduate program in textile engineering, prepared the blueprint for a multi-million dollar textile and garment industry support institute and taught at the university. My work there offered hope to people in a country where often there are serious challenges as well as huge untapped opportunities. In 2005, I received a fellowship from the Australian Wool Innovation to develop new products combining Australian merino wool and airy silk that comes from my home state of Assam. In 2006, I was awarded the International Postgraduate Research Scholarship from the Australian Government for my PhD, which I completed in 2009. My thesis was titled Fabrication and Characterization of Silk Powder for Biomedical and Sorption Applications. At Deakin, now I am working on a thin, transparent silk membrane that could provide a novel yet simple solution to a problem that affects as many as 300 million people worldwide who suffer from chronic eardrum perforation as a result of infection, obviously leading to hearing loss. Here in Australia, according to the Ear Science Institute of Australia, about 100,000 people suffer from this hearing impairment. Overrepresented in those statistics is Australia's indigenous population. The usual treatment for chronic eardrum perforations is a major procedure requiring a full anesthetic and surgery, taking a graft of muscle, membrane or a cartilage from a suitable part of the patient to seal the hole. Whilst most of these grafts provide a barrier and prevent further infection in the inner ear, they cannot vibrate like a normal eardrum and thus cannot restore hearing. The alternative I am developing with my colleague Dr. Ben Allardis as part of an ARC linkage project involves using fine silk membranes to replace damaged eardrums. We are ex extracting proteins from silk fibers to produce an artificial eardrum which could be implanted in a simple outpatient procedure. With Ear Science Institute Australia, we hope to start conducting clinical trials in humans from 2014. It is very satisfying that my journey continues to be one that benefits people around the world.